Hey fire signs and welcome to my channel. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo in that order. This is your Sunday, July 15th love forecast. Ooh. Okay, strength and the eight of wands is what came out. I didn't call for them yet, so I am putting them back. So we will go um, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo in that order, please. Do a couple more shuffles here. Okay, your bottom of the deck is the Six of Pentacles. Um, finding balance, for restoring balance in your life from a situation that um, you felt you were treated unfairly in. Um, you felt like you weren't getting fed enough of the attention. Um, and there could have been possibly someone else in your space that was getting that attention. That doesn't necessarily mean a lover. It could be um, somebody you're seeing has children and you had to share their time with their children or, you know, a job that required your spouse to work numerous hours a week. Um, just something in your energy space was sharing um, or taking away from times invested in each other. All right, Aries males. It's females. Saggy males. Saggy females. Oops, I don't know why I flipped that. Leo male. Oh, I did it again. Leo female. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it was meant to be. But, ooh, bottom of your deck of the clarifying is the Ten of Swords in reverse. So you're you're going to close a chapter to this. You're going to take back your energy from this person who um, was taking more than they were giving. And you feel betrayed by this person. And you're getting ready to uh, close that chapter out. And look at that. End of chapter, I said. Geez, when I call the cards, they come out. I love it. Death card, endings, something's coming to an end. Let's see what we got here. Aries males, you have the queen of cups. So um, closing a chapter with a water sign possibly, or somebody who um, had at one time a lot of love for you. You have the five of pentacles also in reverse. This is spiritual rebirth to me, Aries males. Um, so then when you put it with the death, um, most definitely you guys are going through a transformation of major um, sorts in your spiritual um, dynamic of your life. You're um, shedding the, your old thought process, your old feelings in regards to love. You're being reborn. You're going through um, and you are transforming your life into the path it's meant to take. Um, Aries females, you have the six of swords in reverse. So you're holding back, moving on emotionally from something that you need to put an end to. The death card is here. Um, this You have so much love and admiration for somebody, something. And so it's hard for you to move forward. So you're getting stuck in your emotional um, wounds. And it's time, Spirit is saying, it's time to end that. It's time to let that go. It's time to be who you're meant to be. Let go of all the things that you thought you needed or thought you wanted. Um, it's now time to go after and do what it takes to be with, do whatever the case may be, what you're intended to do here. Um, so it's time to move on is what Spirit is saying. Saggy females, or Saggies, I mean, justice. Two major arcana, big, big changes for you this Sunday, um, allowing something to end. Um, you could be going through a divorce. This is something in the justice system, um, letting uh, things fall away. Um, the karmic scales are balancing out. Karma is here and it is working in your favor. Um, for the Sagittarius males, you're, you're waiting. You have invested time um, and energy. You're now waiting for things to balance out. Um, you've also are getting impatient. So um, transformations don't happen overnight. Karma will balance out. Justice will be in your favor. But you have to remember to be patient and to just keep plugging away. Keep weeding your gardens. Get out everything that is dead, that no longer serves you.
Sagittarius females, you have the Eight of Wands. You could most definitely have Aries in your chart, Moon, Rising, or Venus, um, with those two both flipped for the females. Um, karma is here, but you're you're refusing to uh, follow your intuition. You're refusing to follow the spiritual path that that you are being guided to take. Um, you're missing a soulmate. You're missing somebody, and you're concentrating so much on that. Um, and this relationship could be coming to an end for you guys, and you're not wanting it to. Um, but spirit, once again, is calling for you to let this go because this relationship was out of balance. You were putting in more than what you were receiving. And now it's time to let this go so you can um, actually pull in something that is going to equally give and take. Leos. Oh, you have the six of wands in reverse. Um, feeling defeated, feeling like you can't take much more. This transformation has been hard for you. Um, you most definitely could be going through the dark night of the soul. Um, Leo, men, you are dealing with a very strong um, but very distant uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, you're feeling unsuccessful with this. Um, this could be, even though it's a king, it could be male or female because it, um, it is general. But uh, I'm seeing this as a king. So this is a male air sign in your space that is making you feel defeated, making you feel like you put up the battle and it's not worth the fight anymore. The five of wands has come and gone. And now you're coming back as the one that is defeated because this person, um, very cold, very, he didn't care. He just came out with it and said, this is over. This could be same sex, um, relationship or a job. Um, something is leaving you feeling unsuccessful. <laughs> it's time to let it go. Let it go. You're transforming into who you're meant to be. So anything that is not wanting to be in your life, let it go. If it's meant for you, it'll be back when you both are healed. Um, Leo females, you have the four of cups in reverse. So you are um, thinking the grass is greener on the other side. You're bored here, um, but it's in the reverse. So you're giving up on this connection. Leo females, you are letting this relationship end. Chapters close. Um, you're giving up on this uh, water sign or a fire sign. But uh, either way, they're not fulfilling you. You're walking away. You're tired of waiting. And um, and you're going to go out and see what is out there for you. What advice do you have for fire signs for Sunday the 15th? Camel boy, small steps and asking for help. All right. So your advice for today is to not take on too much. Take baby steps. As long as you are moving forward, that's okay. No matter how big a steps you take, as long as there's always movement um, and always moving forward. So take small steps and don't be afraid to reach out uh, for help. Um, if you're struggling, if you're struggling financially, um, emotionally, reach out for help. Because even if that's just from your angels, you don't have to ask. And then look what look what flipped finances and career. Like I was just saying, if you're struggling financially, don't be afraid to reach out for help to ask somebody. There is somebody in your space that is going to help you money wise. Um, because it's really bogging down this relationship for a group of you. Um, it's really taking its toll and it's putting a lot of extra stress on the relationship. So don't be afraid to reach out and take small steps if need be. All right, fire signs. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Um, have a beautiful Sunday and as always, 